Moving on to other news now, and Hurricane Matthew has made landfall in the Bahamas as the deadly storm continues to move north across the Caribbean. High winds and storm surges have hit the region. 11 people have been killed, but that number is expected to rise with many people cut off from rescue efforts. John Hendren is in Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. Hurricane Matthew is descending on the Bahamas, and the Bahamas have done all they can to prepare. The airport is closed probably for several days. Hotels are down to 20% occupancy, and many of them are gathering people in ballrooms, so they're, they're away from those windows that could shatter and cause harm. There are many models for where this storm will go, but that so-called cone of uncertainty certainly goes through the Bahamas. Every model shows it going through here as either a Category 3 or a Category 4 storm. And that's important because as devastating as Hurricane Katrina was in 2005, that hit land as a Category 3 storm. But it was the surges of water that caused a lot of the damage. And here we are expecting surges of 5 meter or higher of water. And that could do a lot of damage here in the Bahamas where Hurricane Matthew is now on its way. And Matthew has left Haiti dealing with the worst humanitarian crisis since the 2010 earthquake. The UN says 350,000 people need immediate help. Rescuers are still struggling to reach some remote villages. The government has postponed Sunday's presidential election because of the damage.